In this video, we will go through media pipe library for the Python. Uh, let's see how we can use it in augmented reality. So first we have to set up uh, Anaconda environment in your Windows system and navigate to the directory where we have our uh, Jupyter notebook. So start the Jupyter. Here you can see these notebooks. Uh, Media5 library is uh, developed by Google. This library have a number of other features too. Uh, one of the feature is uh, hands which used to uh, track hand motions so you can find out all the document related this feature and also its api so some examples also given here you can also read the document and implement your own solution so this example i have uh, analyzed and use some function from it so other features are like this face detection then mesh here is also some augmented reality example given the other features also are good from this media pipe library you can try all of this uh, for now we will uh, go with the hands this media pipe support this much platforms and also some features are not uh, supported on all platform so open our uh, notebook this is a simple example of media pipe uh, first we have to install requirements uh, libraries and all the python requirement so these commands do th do this for us uh, import the required libraries uh, some of the important libraries are media pipe and all the rest of the common python library here initialize the media pipe and uh, this uh, hand features are get detected these are the landmarks. Uh, there are total 20 landmarks you get. All have index. Uh, result will consist of these landmarks. So these are the basic functions uh, for plotting our uh, landmark information. The main function start from here. Uh, we open the video camera, uh, grab the frames, and uh, also we initialize the media pipe library for the hands with some uh, uh, predefined parameter you can tweak uh, according to your video so this loop will continuously grab the video frames uh, and pass it to media uh, media pipe hands library and this will generate result and that result will be get plotted on the image and that image uh, same for the all landmarks and its uh, connections so these functions uh, are defined in media pipe library you can customize your viewing uh, landmark view viewers so this resultant image will uh, give you all the landmarks and connections these are the functions where we create a skeleton of hand raw only the hand without the image so uh, we, we are we, we will then destroy the video object but we will continue to grab the frame until we press Q button so let's run the program uh, two windows will be open one is for video feed and other is for the raw hand positions this library support a multi hand detection so you can see uh, i get the all landmarks 20 landmarks are there and also the uh, location in the 3d plane like uh, it is a xyz coordinates for all the landmarks that mean uh, your fingertips are located from the origin which you can see the end point of the hand so you will get the z uh, z axis also for each uh, coordinate uh, which is uh, also also it gives the information how far your hand is from the camera so you can see uh, the hand nearest camera have the large uh, uh, landmark showing
the next thing is we can do a augmented reality with this library so we can uh, move the obj file obj file which is a 3d model file from uh, information taken from the hand gesture so this uh, notebook will do for you these are the 3d models you can change it uh, any at uh, in the inside the script so open the uh, this notebook here now this notebook is a uh, similar uh, as we see the last one these are the some library imports uh, here we only need some extra libraries opengl and uh, python game py games so the rest of the things are the same but here uh, one extra thing also there it is obj parser that is object file parser which renders uh, that uh, parse obj file and uh, put this on the image buffer so some of the supporting functions are defined here uh, these are the ar related functions uh, which you can later use for image uh, mark marks markers detection uh, the, these are the some uh, feature plotting functions for meta pipe media pipe sorry so these are the video open and now these are the important matrix projection matrix camera matrix and the homography matrix that projects the 3d image on 2d plane uh, these are the similar function similar loop we have seen in the last uh, notebook here only we are what we are doing is uh, getting the hand uh, landmass uh, make them a uh, four landmark we are getting that we are considering it as a as a plane or a rectangle which uh, is transformed accordingly that points and we convert we plot that points on the image we get the plane plane is nothing but the uh, created using four points that plane gives us the homography mat homography matrix and that matrix is projected in uh, inside in the 2d plane so we uh, load that uh, we also transform the object uh, file uh, accordingly our projection matrix and that will uh, make the 3d movement of the object these are the some ar related example you can also try this so let's run the notebook uh, here we can we, we have got the video feed if you put your hand in video you can see that the 3d model of mouse is uh, load on the plane which is created by the four points from hand landmark so if i change my hand position that plane get transformed and accordingly that transformation the 3d object get transformed so also you can uh, create a plane using three points only uh, i have taken the four so that's why it's not at the center object is not at the center of the plane so you can also try with the three points so here i have uh, added two object one is for left hand one is for right hand so other is fox and one is a mouse so as you can see uh, uh, the models are uh, changing its uh, rotation uh, transformation and scale according to your hand position so basically when that rectangle get transformed the models orientation and all the coordinates get transformed accordingly
you will you can uh, change your other other parameters and try uh, your own example this one is for the augmented reality one you can find this uh, repo at github feel free to contribute or feel free to add any issues or suggestions 